Okay, hey, hey, how's everyone doing? My name's Kurt, I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Monday afternoon live class. I had a, a think about it there for a second, <laughs> and uh, I am glad that you're here. We're gonna be drawing this great uh, barn winter scene, and I'm gonna show you the way that I draw, like if I have a, multiple buildings, I think one of the easier ways is to do it, or at least uh, it's the way that I draw it, and uh, I think it will help you when you're dealing with like uh, a barn or uh, a building that's somewhat isolated in a, a landscape of some sort. But I'm I am live here on YouTube, so if you have any questions, just throw it in the chat, and I'll be happy to answer them to you. If you're looking for a great group of of support or of people. I would recommend that you join our Facebook group, Beginning Drawing, Learn How to Draw with Kurt Aspel and yours truly. We have a ton of people there that uh, just want to see you succeed, and I would love to have you part of that group. I think there's a link in the description. I will add a link in the uh, comments as soon as that we're done. Okay, let's jump right into this here. So let me let me remove that for a second, and let's just talk talk about building, drawing a building. Um, if I see a building in, in a picture that I'm going to draw, the first thing I look to is the corner that is closest to me. All right. So what do I mean by that? I'm going to show that. So let's just, let's just say we ended up drawing a corner. So there's, there's a corner right there in front of us. Okay. Corner of a building. That's the first thing I look for. I look for the corner. Next thing I next thing I ask myself, hey Pat, hey it's in Ireland. Wow. <laughs> Next thing I look at is I look at the angle of the roof line. So let's just pretend like the angle on this side was going this way, and the angle was going that way. You see that? So that would be the next thing. I look for the angle. Angle G L E. Wow. Ireland. Pat, I didn't know you were there in Ireland. That's pretty awesome. My son-in-law is from Ireland. All right, next. Next we go to the ground level. We look at the ground. And we look at the ground. The ground might be something like this, okay? And on this side, it might be something like that. We get those angles right, okay? Fourth, we look at the back wall. And we look at the back walls here. Just like that, you see? The back corners. And then we draw an X. Now what do we what do I mean by drawing an X? Look, we want to find the roof. So if if the roof is gonna be, is gonna be up here, we need to find the center. So we will draw an X from corner to corner. Just if you had a, if you had any kind of rectangle that you were looking at and you wanted to find the exact center, all you got to do is is connect the corners, and that will give you the center. Well, the same thing works with something in perspective. We connect the corners, and then from here we go, we go straight up, and then up here at the peak we can connect this just like that. You see. Look at that, we're building, we're drawing a building and we're not even trying to figure out where the vanishing points are. That, that is remarkable. Okay, so so look at this. We have we have this line and we have this line. And and if I just kind of get the idea, okay, they're gonna converge. They're gonna come together at some point. Well, you know what, this roof line up here, it's also gonna converge. So I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate. I'm going to draw it at an angle that I think th that I think A, B, and C, that all three of those lines are going to converge someplace. And I don't have to be 100% accurate. I just have to be close. So I'll, I'll get that angle just like that. Then I'm going to take this, this, this angle here, this roof angle, and copy it. And boom, just like that, 
I've drawn myself a very basic house. If you can, if you're new to drawing or you're you're a beginner and you have a hard time drawing houses in perspective, go through this. Go through this over and over again. If you go through this with repetition, you'll memorize it. And this is the basis for drawing almost all houses. They change slightly, but if you get that down, you'll be in business. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring up our picture now and apply that so you can actually see it in action. Right? So you can see it in action. So first thing I want to do is let's let's draw a border. Draw a border there. And a lot of times when we draw, we want to start with like, uh, well, uh, like a jet. We want to bring our picture into focus. Okay, so if I look at my picture here, let's, let's determine first where this uh, back hill is. And I'm looking like right there. You see, that's the edge of it. And, and look at this. This is interesting. This is like a nice composition because this is one third and all this down here is two thirds. So they've, they've put the, they, they have composed this picture with the sky being the top third and the, and the land being the bottom third. That's a great, uh, that's a great uh, proportion there. So let's come in our picture here and very lightly I'm going to just break it down into thirds. Okay. Let's go ahead and and draw this draw the building that is the furthest away first and then we'll extend it okay so here is right here you see you see this line right there that would be the corner that is closest to me all right so let's let's come over here look at our horizon line and i'm gonna just there is the corner that is that is closest to me Okay, now I'm going to guesstimate this roof line. Look at that. There's there's the angle, and there's the angle of the ground plane there. So let's put that in. That's not that bad. There's this. There's that. And then we could put this back corner just like that all right now looking at that building look the the back corner you can't see it but it's hi linda <laughs> but it's right about i think it's right about there so you know you could kind of get an idea of of if you were just drawing this as a square so let's Let's just kind of put this in here like this and pretend like this building, this cube back here is invisible, just like that. Let's go ahead and make we're gonna make an we're gonna make an X. Draw this lightly. And then extend it up. Maybe right about there. And 
there's the there's the peak of the roof there. Okay, so I've extended I've extended both of these lines to give you a sense of where those how those are going to uh, converge. Pat and Linda, am I going too fast or is this an okay speed? If I'm going too fast, let me know and I'll slow down a little bit. Okay, starting at, starting right here at the peak. This, let's draw that uh, roof line so all three of those start to converge. Just like that. Take that angle. Okay, so far, excellent. Now you could you could already see there's a difference in my in my drawing in the picture. I've Probably made my barn a little bit taller, where the one in the picture is a little bit wider, but that's okay. We'll, we're just going to go with it. Oh, you need to put on the light. All right, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so now let's let's extend the barn. Let's 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 put in the second the second building here. And I'm gonna come over here and look what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna extend extend this out just a little bit right there. And then this is also going to extend out. And we draw a vertical. So that vertical is right there. So all we've done is we've extended this out and we've extended this out. Oh, Tamara. <clears throat> oh, Tamara's coming from British Columbia. Marvelous. And I'm going to use my eraser now and just kind of erase some of the stuff on the inside there so I don't get confused, okay? <clears throat> you could even you could even erase some of this in here if you wanted to cuz we're all done with that. <clears throat> Okay, so coming from this this little corner here. Now this is going to also go back to that vanishing point. Look at that. That's that's heading back there as well. And then this top one is also look all of those are converging to the same vanishing point. And then let's just kind of estimate I'm going to come that about that far right there. Let's find the center. Okay, 
there's the center. Thing is, that, you know, a lot of things with drawing is if you if you do something multiple times, and it, it takes multiple times to to figure it out. Once you do it multiple times and figure it out, it's it's in your memory. So if you don't get it, if you don't get it, then just uh, I got lost in the how the shape would look like. Oh, how sad. Um, how the shape would look like. Stello, is it Stello Lee? <laughs> Let's see, low, lowly, sta, Stelloli, Stelloli, Stelloli. Okay, look, Stelloli. If you, first thing you need to do is, first thing that's really helpful is get that corner. Okay. Get that down first, and then of course this this is also going to converge. Under key is to understand that that shape right there. Then understand this right here. If today, if you walk away with getting this this idea down, you have succeeded. All right. That goes back. That goes back. These all converge. They're all going to converge to the same vanishing point. Take that. If you can remember how to draw that house, then today is successful, okay? And from there, you will slowly grow, all right? So practice this idea over and over again until you get it. I'm going to erase it now. And of course, this once we are done here with the live, you can always rewatch re this video. Okay, so I'm back here. Here's a tip here. I'm going to connect this just like that. Now this and this see these are these are going back to the vanishing point back there and so will the tip of this roof now now watch now here we go we're going to come over here oh sure to watch on their phone okay and then right where this hits the roof there we're going to connect it right in there just like that So let's come in here and erase some of these lines here so we can see our building just a little bit better. One more building to draw. Erase all that. Okay, last building here. Okay, so right, this is what, this is, I'm looking at this right there, that little corner. So let's say that that corner comes up to be right about there. All right, so this, that's going to also go back to the vanishing point. That's going to come out to about there. Right to there. There's the bottom. Still only stick with us. It just takes time, but I guarantee you'll get it, okay? I won't I won't leave you. All right, this 
this is going to go back to the vanishing point back here. This corner is going to go back to that, go back and converge in that direction. And we want to, we could estimate this one here. Back corner, that back corner is going to be right there. Okay, I'm going to erase some of these extra marks here that I don't need. Okay, let's, oops. Let's put an X here. Go straight up. Connect that. The peak of this roof is going to go back to this to that vanishing point. And then you're going to use this angle right here to get where that comes in contact with that building. So now, now that we've got that, we can kind of erase a lot of this over here. Erase some of this here. Erase that. And we could come over here and add a tone or fill this in with, with a value. Because this is on the side of the building that's in shadow. This roof is in shadow a little bit. Look, I've got that roof almost the same value. So this, this has got to be darker in value down the side here. Same thing over here. This has got to be the same value. I'm going to erase some of my arrows here. That was the hardest part of the drawing. You are almost home already. Getting that perspective right. All right, there's, a, there's that horizon line in the back. Not really, it's a tree line, really. Let's go ahead and, and add these trees. So what I want you to first do with the trees, don't add them yet. I want you to add tone. So just come in here like this, just like this. Then, then in the distance you can then you can start adding some uh, tree trunks Now my my lines on these uh, 
my lines on uh, this barn here are pretty thick. So you, you probably don't want to make them as thick as I did. I, I just wanted to show you uh, what was going on with that. Okay, down here, look at this. We've got this little hill going here. And just for these fences, I'm just going to use like some very small parallel lines. There's the fence post and I... Look at this first building here. It actually, you can see the stone foundation. So I, I definitely want to extend this line here, right? And then the snow is, is kind of on top of it. So watch this. If I, if I do this and then come up here with the snow bank, you could even cut in. cut into the base just a bit with an eraser or something. I, I think the side of the bar needs to even be a darker value. So I'm going to come back in and, and add a little bit more darker value. And right now, this, the, the sun, the side of the barn that's facing the sun is pretty bright. I have it the same color. See, like it's the same color as here. You see those, they're the same value, but look at the picture. It's, it should be much darker. So. I'm just going to drop in a, a tone here. And this, this, the roof here where the snow is, that's a little bit darker value as well. It's, it's not nearly as dark as the side. You know, I, that is the idea of value, of understanding your values. That is, that is so important of getting the values right on a picture. Now there's wood slats. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use a surface line. Look at that. I'm just using these little straight lines to describe the slats on the barn there. Same thing on the next one. There's like two levels there. So we'll this arrow here okay the stonework has a little bit of a tone to it it's it's lighter than the wood it's lighter than the wood but it's darker than the snow it looks like down there they got a little little window so we'll put a little Maybe a little square there, right? There's a little, little, little window there. Window there. It looks like there's a... I'm just looking at some details of this barn. It looks like some sides are missing. So we'll add those in. 
let me erase the rest of this here, the, the red, so we get a good idea. Okay, it looks like the barn door, there's an opening right, right there. So I'm going to make sure that this is super, as dark as I can make it. Let's come over here and take a look at this road. Look at look at the road. The road is coming in right, right there, and then it exits right there. You see that? I'm gonna put a little dot here so you can see that. All right, let's let's put that line in and, and let's see, it's gonna come up here maybe. It's gonna come all the way over here. And I'm going to add just, it, it has a little bit of a tone. We'll come back in and add some more texture in just, just a bit. And then look at this. Now look at this big shape. This is a beautiful shape. Watch this with my, I'm just going to mark it on here. It's like this. And then it really kind of comes up here. You see that? Following that tree. That whole, that shape right there is a darker value. So let's let's come in here now. So that's that's gonna come into the picture right about there. It's gonna come all the way, maybe to about there. So this is about the general shape of it, just like this. And I'm going to come in here and just add. It's like. It's, it's a tone, so let's just let's just do ourselves a favor and right out of the get go add a value to this. See, it's and we can come back and add more value if we have to, but let's just get a base value. So when I'm one of the things I like to do when I'm drawing. After I get the, like the mechanical stuff, the man-made stuff, the stuff that's like in uh, perspective, once I get that done, I start to look at my picture in the way of, of shapes. I get my shapes in, and then, then I will ask myself, what's the value of that shape? And then I'll go into that shape and start adding detail to it. So we kind of got that shape down there. So let's, let's erase this red line now that you know where I'm going and we can erase this as well and maybe this down here okay now we can look at our picture and go okay what what's in that what's in that shape well we we've got we've got a log all right and so this log is coming in like this All right, so there's my log. And if I look closely at that log, it has snow on top and the log down below. So, you know what, I, I just have to add the dark value of, of the log below. Looks like this is maybe a stream area here, right? So what's happening below this here? So let's see, I, I've got this little snow bank. So let's, let's bring that in as well. So we're, I'm, I'm doing something like this and like it, the top of it is right about there. And then I can see that it has like the edge. You see that? So we can use surface lines to describe the edge.
Now look look how dark. Look how dark that those two values are. That's that's the where the e, that's the water. It's got to be the water. So we're going to come in here now. And we're not going to hold back in value down there and look how I'm curving. I'm curving that right up top there. That will that will show me that that is like the edge of the snow and I'm just going to Look at my picture. And just fill it in. Let's get some other big items in this picture. So look at this right here. There it looks like there's a post here and there's a couple posts over here as well. You see that? Let's put those in. So let's see, that's gonna be right about here. It's pretty dark. And then over here, let's see now, where about that is that's gonna maybe be right about I may have shown too much of it, but I'll go with that. All right. Next object I want to work on is I want to get this tree in. Now, when you do a tree, um, let me let me just quickly remove this picture just for a second and I'll I'll show you let me put a new layer up here all right when you do a tree this is with no leaves just very lightly get an idea of where your tree is gonna go first all right and the way that I draw the tree I don't I don't use any curved lines I I use segments so there's one segment there's another one a little shorter and a little shorter and a little shorter and a little shorter you see I did that and then and then once I have that that kind of gives me kind of a guide of where I want to go so then I could come in here and just with singular strokes I'm gonna create this segment so it tapers that means a taper means it's thick on one end and skinny on the other this of course is is an extreme but it, it shows you what I mean then this this taper is going to come off here and when I when I add a branch I don't go to the very tip I move down just a little bit you see that I just move down just just uh, just a bit right there and I just keep repeating myself so let's get rid of that and bring our picture back up all right so let's come over here now this branch is gonna this branch is gonna come out here and I'm, I'm doing it light first it's gonna come all the way up there maybe Let's let's go ahead and in first segment there there it is right there. Second segment. Third, fourth. And even look at this is interesting. This is a happy a happy little accident. Look at that right there. I didn't even connect. You see that? When I put my mark in, 
I didn't even connect it. And that's great. That's great when you have some of those little gaps there because that makes it look very natural and you are letting the mind fill in, fill it in. All right, so let's, I'm going to come over here and just add maybe just another twig, maybe right there. And I think I'm good with that. Okay, next, let's, let's blur our eyes. Let's blur them, squint them, okay? And, and you see this brush. And so all I wanna do now is just by squinting my eyes, I'm just gonna come in here with a tone, with a value, a tone and value I use, uh, I use interchangeably with each other. So there's, I'm just gonna, Kind of put a little bit of tone right there come up here look at this this little this little guy has a hard edge there at the bottom that's where the snow is covering up and i'm just i'm not doing any little fine twigs i'm just adding value there so that's that's right there and then we've got a another another bunch look at the base it's kind of uh sharp sharp edge because the snow at places oh that got a little dark on me all right and i, I could see the more so i'm going to just i'm going to keep adding some tone it doesn't have to be perfect where i see it with my eyes i'm going to add it This is for all the brush. Now the tone in this area gets a little bit darker. So let's add one more, one more value, total value in that area before we go in and start adding actual sticks. Okay, here we go. Now we can add, start adding actual sticks and twigs. And I'm just, when I draw these, I push down and pull up, push down and pull up. And, and that, when I push down and pull up, this gives like a nice, a nice taper at the end of my stroke. All right, so I just push down and pulling up, really thinking of trying to create some texture and value down here. Look at, there's some reeds even in the foreground here that are come up, you see that? So I'm, I'm being very careful not to create patterns because when we're in nature, most things are asymmetrical. But when we are making things, building things, those things are symmetrical. Okay, now I can come in here in the fields, start adding some twigs and reeds. Taking my time here. This, I, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video that, you know, the, my size, the size of my picture is pretty small here. I mean, we're only talking maybe three inches by three by four inches. So it's small or eight centimeters by uh, 11 centimeters. Especially when we're, trying to accomplish this in you know 40 minutes or 60 minutes 
you don't want to go much bigger. Now, if you're going to go bigger, which you should if you want to, if you're enjoying it, then uh, it might take you a couple hours to get all that detail down. All right, so in the distance here, you see some other uh, other weed, not weeds, but just reeds that are coming up through the snow. So you just don't want to create a pattern. That's the one thing you want to be careful of. Look at this over here. Look at those. Look at those gates. So that's. Now those are kind of white, but that's okay. I'm just gonna, the fences. I'm just gonna come in here with a dark value. I'm even adding some dots to the top of these uh, seed pods, I suppose, right? Okay, I'm going to come back to my road here and I'm going to add some surface lines. Now, we I've talked about surface lines, surface lines. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't heard that term before, let me let me show you over here in the let me show you over here in the side. Let's just say I had a letter Y like this. And over here I had another letter Y. Pretend like these are trunks of trees and if I was add surface lines to this, I might do something like this. See, it's it's going around the surface, and then this is going around the surface. You see that? So that that gives the whole object dimension. And the great thing is I could reverse it. So watch this now. So we'll we'll reverse the angle here just by going the opposite way than I what I did down before. And so between A and B, you could see you could see the total difference. Some the B is coming towards you, where A is falling away. So I'm going to use that same technique to really kind of create the edge of this road here going over. over the snowbank here. I'm just going through now and adjusting some more of my values. I want to really put this little snowy bank in shadow back here. So I'm going to do that sort of thing. And then last thing, I'm going to add like a cloud. Not really a cloud, but a, a wispy... A wispy sky, per se. So you might get a sense of, uh, you know, windy, a windy sky in the distance.
and I'm, I'm just kind of adding some surface lines to kind of create a little bit of the roundness of the snow. And I think that's going to do it for today. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone. Please do me a big old favor and like the video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And thank you so much for watching. We'll have another class here on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday afternoon live. We always look at portrait drawing. So uh, I'll look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And I will see you later. Okay, bye-bye.